Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll explain how you can make a cell blink in Excel using VBA code. On this sheet, you see the scores of 15 people playing a game. Once they reach a score of 10,000, they can go to the next level. We want to do two things here. First, we will highlight the people that already reached the goal in green. Next, we would like to highlight the people that are almost at the 10,000 target. This will be done by making the cells blink a few times and turning them yellow. Before we start coding, we have to alter Excel's ribbon to include the Developer tab. To do so, you navigate to File, Options, and Customize Ribbon, or you just move your arrow to the ribbon, right-click, and select Customize the Ribbon. On the right side, you can check the box next to Developer to make this tab appear in the ribbon. So we check the box and press OK. The Developer tab is part of the ribbon, we click on it, navigate to Visual Basic, and the VBA editor opens. As you can see, we have already prepared the codes. All of the VBA codes that we use in this tutorial can be found in the description. Feel free to use it and customize it as you please. Each time we alter a figure in the table or we change the target value, the code should automatically run. To do so, it is important to write your code in the sheet that contains a table and target value. In our case, that is sheet 1, so we click on it in the upper left side panel. Next, we make sure that the worksheet is selected in the left drop-down menu and change in the right drop-down menu. This means every time you change something on the sheet, the macro gets activated. Remark that target represents the changed range, which can be more than one cell. Now we are ready to go through the code to show what will happen when a change is made to our Excel sheet. The code can be divided in three parts. In the first part, we initialize all variables that we will use further on in the code. Next, we store all cells that we will highlight in two separate vectors. One vector containing all cells that will have to turn yellow and blink. These are the cells that are near the target value, but have not yet reached it and a second vector that contains all cells that should be green. These cells are the ones that are already past the target value. The third and final part of the code is where we will color the cells and add the blinking. We return to the first part to go through each line of the code and see what happens. First we define the score value. This is a range that starts in cell C3, indicated by the first argument, and it goes until the last entry below C3 is reached. This is indicated with a second argument. Next, we define the score value as a range. This will be used to loop through all score values one by one. Then the blinking cells fact and highlight cells fact are defined as ranges and will contain all cells that should blink and turn yellow or should be highlighted in green. The final element to initialize is a target value, which is a range that can be found in cell F2. Let's turn to the second part of our code now, where we will store all cells to format in a blinking cells fact and highlight cells fact. The first line tells Excel to only do something when a score or the target value is changed. We tell Excel this by looking at the intersection of the changed range on the sheet which is represented by target and a score table or target value. If this is not nothing, or said in another way, if there is anything in that intersection, we run the code below. In the code below, we loop through each score value and check if the score is higher than the target value. In that case, we add that cell to our highlights cell vect. If the score value is below the target value, we further check if the score value is near the target value but still below. If that's the case, we add the score to the blinking cells vect. Finally, we format the cells in the third part of the code. The first line turns the cell to highlight the green using color index. Remark that there are other ways to choose a color too. You can for example enter an RGB code, or use predefined VBA colors like VB green for example. Finally, the for loop makes the cell in the blinking cell spec yellow, then white, then yellow again, which creates the blinking. We do this three times as the for loop runs till three. After the blinking, the cell stays yellow, as this is the last color chosen in the loop. This concludes our blinking cell tutorial. Please subscribe if you want to support the channel. Comments or questions are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.